WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 12 noon Eastern time, middle of the day on Friday, and we got markets hovering around flat territory. Pretty dramatically in the red coming into the market. We've been briefly in the positive. We pulled back a bit. Right now, we get the S&Ps negative four points, trading at 28.74. We have the Dow in positive territory, up 11 points, trading at 25,875. And you've got the NASDAQ, negative 30 points, trading at 78.68. Gold contract trading lower off $9.50, trading at $12.76.70. Notes and bonds, slightly higher price and lower yield. 10-year note up two ticks, $124.15. 30-year bond up eight ticks, $149.22. You have oil up 20 cents, trading at $63.08. And Bitcoin struggling dramatically in the last 24 hours. Was up to as high as almost $8,300. Bitcoin now down $612 on the day but down at 7,068. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. Quite an acceleration right out of the gates. We're trading 25,631 in the Dow. We trade up more than 300 points from that level, reaching an intraday high of, we'll get it, 25,946. Pull back a bit from that level, 25,893. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar trading pattern. 9.30, we're trading at 75.14. We trade up a solid 100 NASDAQ 100 points before pulling back a bit, 75.73. S&Ps, opening bell, trading at 28.52. We make it all the way up to 28.86. Talking about 34 S&P points, pretty dramatic. Pull back a bit, 28.77. Crude oil with some volatility as well, just as we were speaking, dip below $63. You got crude trading at 62.95. Gold contract, been a one-way trade the last couple days to the downside. Even backing this up, there's yesterday's action. Early, early, 3 a.m. Thursday, we're trading at 12.99. Right now, trading at 12.76.89. And euro, U.S. dollar, trading 111.65. In terms of what else you have happening out there, lots of news. There's your Pinterest chart, down 12% on the day, $3.70 to the downside. Other stocks, I'm going to put that on a five-minute how about Tesla getting some negative action with another reported autopilot fatality? And then you have some of those chip stocks. Cisco was up. We got AMAT up 4.7%, quite a number. John Deere, though, pulling back on some tariff concerns. Stay tuned, folks. We got Steve Rhodes at 1 o'clock, Dave White at 2 o'clock, Tom O'Brien at 3. Have a great Friday.